Hi again, I am Fathom and I am the founder of Other Fiber Creations and today we're going to have a fun little experimentation kind of project. So my boyfriend, Ethan, we've talked about him before. Hopefully you remember him. If not, he's my boyfriend. His name is Ethan. That's all you need to know. He is going on a trip beginning of April, end of March, somewhere in there, I think, if I remember right, to Washington, DC. He and his best friend go every so often. It's not like every year. They want to go every year, but like when time allows it every year. Specifically, they go because they want to go to uh, the Capitol and see the cherry blossoms in bloom. I've seen it once before when I went on a trip when I was a lot younger. It's beautiful. I'm not going with them. A, because money. B, because this is kind of their little tradition. I'm gonna let them have it, if that makes sense. Like they t told me I could come along. I was like, I'm gonna step back. I'm gonna do my own thing since it's like a month or two after I moved here. It happens. My point being, they're going on this trip and they both had joked to me about me making some of like the circular vests that I do for them for this trip. They had talked about possibly commissioning me and all these things. It didn't work out that way. It happens. But I have had the idea of just this cherry blossom inspired pink and white vest and circular shawl in my mind since we had this discussion. And so, at least for my boyfriend, I'm gonna make the vest. And if I have enough yarn left over in my big bag of color palette, I will try and make a circular shawl so that they both can wear one. Fingers crossed, we're gonna see what happens. But first, I'm gonna try and kind of give you a feel for what we're looking at. So, we got our usual pinks. We got some like, leaning towards purple, but not quite. Got some fluffy pink, but I also have things that lean a little bit more towards the like deep pink coral going towards red because I think of the tips of cherry blossoms have that. And of course I have plenty of white in here as well as like a little bit of cream to kind of vary the texture a bit. The yarn that I wish I had more of that I don't is this. It is this beautiful pink and white combo that for the vest, I know exactly what I'm gonna do with it. The vest is from, give me a second, I can tell you. The answer is that it's Earth Tricks Sunflower Mandala Shawl or vest. I saw it, I bought the pattern because I got commissioned to do it, which you guys are gonna see that in a separate video. But I picture, this might be me being crazy, not this exact white, but white for the brown in the center of the sunflower. It has kind of like a little section where you have a transition color, like for shading. So I might do the light pink. I might do maybe the velvet and then the petals in this. And this is not used for the rest of the shawl to kind of bring accent to those petals. It'll be a strange, like not quite proportionate cherry blossom, but I think it'll get the vibe across. That's what we're going to try. If I have enough for the other pattern, it is Morale Fiber's Lotus Duster. Instead of making the hooded one, we're gonna make one without a hood and make it size small instead of size large like we've been doing, which you can see here. I've learned the trick for this. My camera flips when I go to edit, so it looks right since I'm looking at myself when I do it this way, but it's on this side. It's my left hand. It should be here. I'm confident in this. And if I'm wrong, you can make fun of me. I know, a rare option. We have our colors. I have a big bag full of more pinks and whites, but I'm not going to pull it all out. And I think it's going to be a fun time. So let's try making this vest first and see where we go. Pew, pew, pew. Let's do it.
It is the next morning. I am at my boyfriend's place. Surprise at the background change. I got almost completed with the vest last night. Had him try it on and it didn't fit. Lovely, wonderful, awesome. It did not fit him. We had to backtrack. And so this is where we've gotten to now. I think the cherry blossom coloring comes across really well. I kind of did the big white center, dark pink, the pink we talked about. This is some Bernat velvet, some random big twist acrylic. And then this recent one is two different crochet threads in like a pink mauve and a white held together. I think it's coming across really well. I just want to note though, go ahead, take a look at the sizing of this. Because this, that I can get over one arm, but not both. This is a size large. My boyfriend wears a small and the small size did not fit him. And he said that would fit my toddler niece when I had him try it on. So if you're making this pattern, keep that in mind. I love Earth Tricks patterns. This is not any like slam against them. I just want to note the sizing on this pattern in particular runs really small. Keep that in mind. Today's goal, I got a lot of paperwork to do. Just continue working on this and try and complete it if possible. If I don't complete it here, I'll complete it on the car ride because the reason I'm over here is that we have a LARP this weekend, which means I slept for like two hours last night and I'm gonna be up till 2 a.m. today. Yeehaw. It means that this weekend, I'm not gonna be working on it very much, but on the five hour car ride to where we're going for the weekend, I should be good to go. Enough rambling. I'm sure that Editing Fathom is tired of me. I'm gonna get back to work because it's now 7.14 a.m. I got up at like 5 with my boyfriend's alarm and stopped trying to sleep around then. So I want to actually get some things done. Let's do this. It has been about three hours and I reached a point where I am technically close to done. I say it like that because there's a couple of thoughts about this. For one, here it is, our cherry blossom inspired vest. I think I nailed it with the colors. I think they scream sakura blossom, cherry blossom, pink and white, that like near red color. I think I did really good on that. I think the texture is really interesting. I changed up stitches on purpose to give some very texture throughout this and I think that was good. My concern slash problem is that I can't really finish it until I have Ethan try it on again. I wanna make sure this is gonna fit him I can now at least get it over my shoulders. It is not a comfortable fit, but I can get it there. He is a small, I'm an extra large. He should, should being the key word, be able to get it on. But I can't guarantee that. I'm not gonna put finishing touches such as the ties on it or anything until then, because I wanna know if I need to add more to it or what have you as I peek through here. I think, and this is gonna be a little out of left field, I think we're gonna make this a two-part video. Shocking, I know. We have more than enough yarn left over for me to make the Cherry Blossom Lotus Mandala uh, duster. And so what I think we're gonna do is this video, we're gonna finish this. This will be my sole focus in this video. You guys will see what I end up doing with this. I think it's gonna look good. Ethan doesn't mind being on camera, so I think we're gonna actually get to see him on camera trying it on and things. We'll see what happens with that. For now though, I'm gonna go switch gears, get ready to work on a different project, do this thing.
pew, 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 pew. All right, it's been a weekend. I just got out of the shower. I'm tired. I have acne. We're gonna ignore that. We're gonna focus on the vest. So, as we talked about in that last clip, I made it in the largest size that the pattern calls for. This is a size medium to large, and it's too small still for my boyfriend who wears a small. My boyfriend who can wear kids clothing, it is too small. I am using a hook size that is bigger than the pattern calls for. The pattern itself is made for adults. I don't know if my tension is tight. I don't know if I'm misunderstanding the pattern, but whatever's happened, this is too small. This is not working. So we're gonna have to frog and do this again one more time, but I think I have a strategy. What I think we're gonna do is I know the pattern to get this kind of stuff the velvet's doing to make it grow more. I can tell what the trend is. I can spot the pattern. I can make it bigger. I think I'm going to personally freehand a bigger size. I'm gonna guess at it. I'm gonna frog everything. We're gonna start again and do that. I'm hoping that it will work out. My boyfriend, when he saw the second time was like, uh, I'm not sure that I really want that. And I'm like, that's okay. Because if nothing else, I know I'll wear it. I'll think it's a cool piece. And so I'm still gonna finish it. So we're gonna frog everything, start again from scratch. And when it comes time for this part, where it says to do it twice or whatever, I'm going to try and do it three or four times and see what I can do. Fingers crossed, that's the goal for today. So let's do this thing. Pew, 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 pew. Hey, it's Editing Fathom. Ignore the fact that my hair is a mess and all that. But I just wanted to say thank you guys for 100 subscribers. I just checked my YouTube studio where you, if you're a creator, you manage all your stuff there. And I was like, oh my God, it says 100. Ah! I did not expect to hit 100 within my first year of starting to do this, but here we are. So I wanna say, Thank you. This wouldn't be possible without you. And I'm excited to see where we all go together. Now, back to your regular scheduled programming of seeing the finished cherry blossom vest. Pew, pew, pew. We've done it. I'm wearing it. I can move my arms in it. So right off the bat, before I show you the back of this, I had to use a carabiner in order to attach this, which is fine. I think it's a fine attachment. The silver's cute with it. We're gonna see what my boyfriend thinks in person. He may be like, take that thing off, so help me. But we'll see what happens. But I think I did a pretty good job. Like, look at the back of this. I can't see what you're seeing, so I really, really hope I'm in frame. But I had to freehand, where is it? So this is the center. So yeah, like here is where I'm freehanded at, is this entire round out of this purple which I think I did pretty good with. I think that it looks natural, because I took a couple photos to see how it looked, to make sure it looked right on me before I filmed this. But yeah, I think it will do its job. I think it is a nice warmer wear version of the Lotus Duster I've been making from Morale Fiber. Good job, Earth Tricks. Check your sizing though. The sizing on this pattern was weird, and the fact that me and my boyfriend who wears a small could not get our arms through it, despite me using a 4.5 millimeter hook instead of the 4.25 you asked me to use, you might want to check that, just potentially. But overall, I love the pattern. It's adorable. It's cute. I'm definitely going to make more of these. One, because I have a commission to make one. And two, because I just like them and want to sell them. 
For now though, I'm going to go get ready to work on part two of this video where I make the cherry blossom lotus duster out of the same color scheme. So we have a matching set of these. If you liked this video, you can like, comment, subscribe, and if you want to see more of what I do and what I make, feel free to check out my Etsy or my Square site down in the description below. Down there, you can also find all my other social media, like my TikTok, my Facebook, my Instagram, my Pinterest, all that jazz, all down there. You should go check it out. Today's question of the day is, what is a pattern that you've bought where the sizing surprised you? For me, it's this one. For you, it might be something else. Like what's one that you bought it and you're like, huh, that sizing did not match up the way I thought it was going to and you had to make some adjustments. Let me know in the comments below. It'll be a fun little game. We're not talking bad about the patterns. Just what surprised you? What did you work around? I wanna hear it. Thanks so much for watching and bye for now.